All right, everybody, what's up? This video, I'm going to show you how to create a frequency polygon in Google Sheets. I have a video in uh, I have a video on how to do it in Excel. If you want to watch that one, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but this one's how to do it in Google Sheets. All right, so we've got here we've got our classes. Okay, that's the intervals. 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and so on. I've got the frequency. And what we need to create the uh, to create the uh, frequency polygon is we need the midpoints. We need the midpoints here, and we need the frequency. And if you notice, it's 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 kind of important how you set your uh, spreadsheet up. Notice on the class limits here how the the lower class limits and the upper class limits they're in two di in separate cells. I didn't do this. I didn't do ten to nineteen and put it all in one cell. I separated them. Okay, and you'll see you'll see why in a minute. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the midpoints. All right. So you know the midpoint, and when I say midpoint, the midpoint of the intervals here, the class limits. So to get the midpoint, all you do is add the lower class limit and the upper class limit together. So the 10 plus 19, and then you divide that by 2. And that's the reason I separate them. So I can just enter in the formula. So I'm going to do this plus this put that in parentheses and divided by two. Now, this is something I don't, I've never had this happen to me before in Google Sheets, but it automatically comes up this autofill. And so you just click yes right here and it'll copy the formula down for you. Okay, so you can see the formulas there. And I'll explain what this cell and this cell are in just a minute. All right, and then we have the frequency here. So for the frequency, what I want to do is I want to put the frequency right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit equals, and then I'm going to click this cell and hit enter. And of course, we'll autofill that also. Now, now let me show you, if you don't autofill it, I'll show you what you can do. But I mean, if it asks you to autofill, I would just go ahead and do it. So if it doesn't, then you can click, just click in the cell and you see this, see there's your formula C3. So you just grab this little square here and pull it down and it'll automatically do it. But just hit the check sign, the check mark and autofill it. <clears throat> All right. So now to create the frequency polygon. I'm going to create this, but this is not, I'm going to erase it after I create it. Okay. And, and I'll explain why. So if you're following along with the video, don't do this step just yet. So I'm going to go to insert chart and it comes up as line chart. And if it, it, it may come up as another one, if it does just click up here and select whichever one you want. So that, but that's what you want. You want a line chart. All right. So it did it for us. All right. Now to, to do this, we need to kind of work with this a little bit. Now notice, well, it's got the it's got the vertical axis here and I think the reason it may have it there I'm not sure but it may have it there because I did a trial run before I did this video and it but the first time I did it it didn't have any of that okay it looked just like this and that doesn't look very doesn't look very nice but anyway to do a frequency polygon we've got to do another step okay so at this first value here 
we know the midpoint is 14 is 14.5 and then at the next point it's 24.5 and so on well if i was if i was looking if i was looking at these midpoints if i went to the next midpoint to the left okay so we're this is 11 the midpoints at 14.5 if i went to the left what would the next endpoint be and the same thing over here from this endpoint if i went to the right what would the next midpoint be so from this point from the first point here going to the left what would the next endpoint be and going from this last point going to the right what would the next endpoint be that's what we've got to know because in a frequency polygon this thing has to close down so at the next midpoint to the left it should have a frequency value of zero because this thing has to come back down and touch this horizontal axis and same thing here at the next midpoint this it has to come down and touch that horizontal axis and that's that's the reason for those extra cells there so let's delete that so if i'm looking at these midpoints notice how they're going up in tens okay so if i went back this way that means i would be subtracting 10 from 14.5 that would give me 4.5 okay and i don't know let me see if this thing will what this thing does here if i do that no i didn't think that would work i was trying to drag this up to see if it would automatically do it but it doesn't all right so you need to go in and type that next midpoint and then same same thing here i would add 10 here that would be 64 0.5 and remember what I said at the 4.5 and the 64.5 it has to have a frequency of zero so I would type zero in here and zero in here and now we're ready to do the uh, to do the frequency polygon so let's highlight our frequency column and go to insert chart all right so there it is so now there's some there's some things we have to do okay so the first thing that I that I might want to do is maybe add add a title so I can come over here to customize and go to chart title and I would type in frequency polygon All right so let me move this down well we can leave it there now notice it's right here and if you want to leave it there that's fine or you can come right here and you can center it and then the next thing we may want to do is add a horizontal axis title so that we could I don't know we could call it maybe uh, Know, we can call it um, classes okay whatever you want to call it and then we may want to add a vertical axis title and you know whatever that's called I'll just call it frequencies All right and then and so it adds that so now you know it's looking it's looking better now Oop. and let's see I need to go back up here and chart type it said column and I need a line I didn't notice that all right so the chart type was it did column but we needed we need a line chart all right so there it is and, and like I said and, and I'm, I'm glad it did that because the first time I showed you it just defaulted to a line chart but yeah when you create it it may not it may just like there you know it may come up as a combo chart or whatever but just make sure you click line chart all right now 
The next thing is this x axis right here. Okay, there's no numbers there. Okay, we don't know what these, I guess you could say, x values are. Okay, so we've got this horizontal and it's, it's numbering it there, but let's see what we need to do to get the numbers down here. And so to do that, I'm going to need to move this down. And what you do, you come right here to these, to this, no, that's not it, to this add x-axis. And you see here this right here, you click on this, select a data range. And so I'm going to click that and I'm going to select this right here, this range right here. And I'm going to hit OK. All right. So let's pull this back up. And, and there you have it. Okay. Now, there's, a, there's another problem. That's not what we want. We want, that, we want it to label. We want these values on the x-axis to be these values right here. You see that? And that's not what it is. So the, the way that you fix that, you see this aggregate, click that, and it'll it'll do it. And and that's how you create a frequency polygon in Google Sheets. And you know, if if you wanted to, you you could go in here and, and do some other things. Um uh, you know, I don't know, let's see, the, maybe the vertical axis. Uh, you can show uh, axis lines, you know, put those in there. And uh, you can change the minimum and maximum value and all that good stuff. All right. So, you know, you can just just play around with it and, you know, just see what you see what you want to do. Uh, you know, it's up to you, however you need it to look or anything like that. And you can uh, do data labels and it'll it'll label the. The values there I don't know if you want to put that or not but you can if you want to and, you know and just just go through there and add stuff as you want and I think you can you can even change the you can probably even change the background color and all that stuff okay and there's text title color uh, and all that so yeah just you know just mess around with it and see what you want to do with it but I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.